How to pass and prepare GED tests. What is the GED test? This test, commonly known as GED, means General Educational Development Test, a standard test in the United States. This test aims to help those who didn't graduate with a high school diploma. This test exists as a way of giving everyone a chance to change their lives. GED tests started way back in 1942 after the Second World War, though it was meant to help the uneducated and unskilled soldiers from the battlefield. This test certification is accepted throughout the United States, and the exams are available throughout the year. What's the purpose of the GED test? GED helps people get credentials comparable to a high schooler diploma. The certifications give you a chance either in the working environment or to advance your education. All the institutions of higher learning accept the GED certification and even different careers. Where can you access the GED tests? The test is available only in all the states though under specific centers. However, you can access the study materials and exams online. One can therefore access the exam from anywhere and complete the tests within a three-month timeline. However, you need to pay for the test, the fee varies with your state. Preparations for the GED tests Observe the steps below to help you prepare for the tests. 1. Outline the GED examined areas. The GED test examines students in five broad categories. Each section has 40 to 50 multiple choice questions except for math and writing. Math usually has constructed answer questions while writing essays. The five categories of this test include science, social studies, reading, mathematics, writing. So, what is the content of the subjects? Science covers three sections, life, physical and earth, and space science. This paper takes 90 minutes to complete the long multiple choice questions. Another subject is mathematics, which takes 115 minutes to complete. With 50 questions, multiple choice, and constructed answers. This paper contains number operations, geometry, statistics, algebra, function, and patterns. The other detailed paper is about reasoning through language arts. It has multiple choice and essay sections. This paper has a lot of writing tasks and takes 150 minutes to complete. Finally, the last paper is Social Studies which takes 70 minutes. It examines various issues like historical events. 2. Find out the exact test dates. Check out the GED test dates for you to form a study schedule. Be sure to choose a date with ample revision time. You can register and select a test date online through the GED website. 3. Allocate study time. Work on a study schedule that is effective for you. Ensure you focus on your weak areas through revision and practice questions. Under each category, outline what you have covered and what needs ample time. Then brush up on all the concepts with review questions. 4. Test your readiness for the test. A few select sample questions are listed on the GED site. These questions are free and can help gauge your understanding. Again you can also check other online platforms with GED test practice questions, though some are very costly. 5. Use the results to finalize your revision. After the practice test results, then focus on your weak subjects. Examine why you have failed in that section and seek help. Our tutors will gladly assist you when you contact them. What to do during the exam time? A few days before the exam and even during the exam time, be sure to observe the following techniques. 1. Ensure you eat and rest well, your brain needs enough time to relax so that you can concentrate during exam time. If you are sleepy and exhausted, you will get confused. 2. Avoid pressure and panic, if you have prepared well for the exam, you shouldn't worry. Panicking will stress your mind, and this can negatively affect your performance. 3. Be conscious of the test time limit. Before answering the questions, read all the instructions carefully and note the time scheduled for all the sections. This strategy will help you allocate time for each question and review answers before submission. Evaluate all the questions and choose the easy ones first. Handling the questions you know motivates your mind, 
increasing your concentration on complex problems. You also save time that you will use to strategize on the challenging ones. 4. Save some extra time for review. This tip is very important, especially in the writing section. This paper tests grammar, spelling, and fluency, like the essay section. Therefore, proofread your work to ensure it follows all the set standards.